Hey, in this video I will introduce you to uh, the SDOC or the Supplies Declaration of Conformity which is uh, part of the various FCC requirements um, that apply to electronics. So the SDOC applies to most unintentional radiators. That means electronics that are not uh, radio uh, enabled devices, okay? Meaning that they do not have Wi Fi or Bluetooth functionality. Um, this could include LED uh, light bulbs, power banks, coffee machines, and so on. Um, personal computers should be taken out, mouses, keyboards, depends. Um, but yeah, it really depends on, on whether, if, if they're non wireless devices, then you may need an S Dock. And the first thing you need is product identification. And actually, something I should mention before we move forward is that the principle of the SDOC is, is very similar to that of, say, the Declaration of Conformity in the EU, which uh, is mandatory for electronics in the European Union. So you feel right at home with this if, if you issued um, DOCs for the European Union in the past. Essentially, it's a self-issued document, self-certification, based on support documentation, which I will get to in a bit. But number one, you need product identification. You need to specify the device SKU, model number, batch ID, serial number, anything that can, you know, define, like, identify the product, to tie it to the supporting documentation. When it comes to formats, it tends to be open-ended, as long as it can be identified. And you could also include a product, uh, product image. Responsible party, this is referring to the issuing company, really. Could be a manufacturer, could be an importer. But it should be a US company. That's my understanding, anyway. So, company name, address, contact details, signature. They're very similar to the DOC requirements in the EU. Using a compliance statement, fairly typical for these um, documents. I guess that's the declaration in the DOC. Um, yeah, and this is an example, the device compliance part 15, etc, etc. Uh, keep in mind, it can be different, uh, different compliance statements for different products. This is just an example. Now, the supporting documents, the thing is that you can't just issue a declaration based on guesswork or based on I hereby assume that my product is compliant. Now, you need to support the DOC with some sort of technical documentation. This could be a test report. Um, and I'm actually not sure if that's mandatory for all products that need an SDOC. Um, but in general, that's what you need in order to support the, issuance, the issuing of this document. So what can happen if you don't have a test report and a uh, complementary uh, suppliers declaration of conformity? Well, you could have issues with the customers. You could have issues with Amazon taking down your product. They are really strict on, on checking these documents these days. Well, not just the SDOC, but any compliance document. So these are just some, some issues that you could potentially uh, experience if, if you don't have a correct SDOC and, and uh, a test report to complement it. Right, so if you want to learn more about compliance requirements in the United States and EU, you can try out our tool on compliancegate.com slash tool.